We have now arrived at what I think is the most fun and critical stage of the design cycle, and that is to prototype one of the ideas you came up with in the previous step. You have lots of ideas. It's time to choose one that you're going to explore in the prototyping stage. And you're going to actually build it in some way. Now, a lot of people don't understand the importance of the prototype. This does not mean that you build the com a, a complete version of what you have in mind. Identifying the essential elements of your design is an important part of the prototyping phase. You don't need to choose fonts. You don't need to choose a color scheme. You need to get your idea in the hands of people who will tell you whether it's a good one or not. So, you need to figure out what are those essential elements that you can actually build here. If it's an app, you want to build some screens. If it's a device, you want to build the pieces of the device that you think are going to do the essential job of what your device will do in solving the problem of the person you interviewed. So, if you came up with a whole bunch of different ideas, that's great. Just pick one. You're going to learn a lot by trying to build. So, whichever one you choose is going to tell you whether that you're going in the right direction or not. Your idea may change as you build it, and that's okay. If you're having trouble deciding what your idea looks like, if you're having trouble identifying what exactly to build, choose those things that either you're really curious about or the things that you think are going to be most essential to getting the feedback you need. The sooner you can get this into the hands of people, the sooner you're going to know whether this is really worth effort developing in the subsequent stages of the design cycle. So let's use this time effectively to really explore your idea. At the end of this, you want to have something that you can hand to another person so that they understand what it is you've designed. All right, I'm going to give you 11 minutes to go through this step. Use this time to build, use this time to share ideas with your group mates as they come up with other elements of this design. And remember, a physical product or something that somebody who is not in your group can see, can touch, can feel, is gonna go a long way toward getting you the feedback you need to understand whether this idea is going to work. So, get to it, 11 minutes on the clock. Have fun.